The Kroenis Pumped Storage Hydroelectric Plant is the only power station of its type in the Baltic states. It is located on the Kaunas Reservoir, known as the Kaunas Lagoon, in a picturesque part of Kaishadoras region. This is a state-of-the-art energy facility designed to generate electricity and balance consumption. The plant also plays a role in the prevention and liquidation of emergency situations in the energy system, and it is able to store reserve electricity. The Kronis plant is equipped with four hydro units that can operate in different modes. The hydro units are reversible turbine generator assemblies, which act as pump and turbine. This means they can be used either as pumps to move water from the Kaunas Lagoon to the upper reservoir, or as turbines to generate electricity when releasing water back down. The hydro units can rotate as fast as 150 revolutions per minute and have the capacity to produce up to 225 megawatts in generation mode. The combined maximum capacity of the four hydro units is 900 megawatts. A tail race channel beside the facility connects the powerhouse to the lower reservoir. Water flows in both directions through the four concrete encased steel penstock pipes, which are laid on board piling and each has a length of 840 meters. These penstocks are connected with the equipment in the powerhouse and in the intake. During times of low demand and low prices for electricity, especially at night and during weekends, excess generation capacity is used to pump water into the upper reservoir from the lower reservoir through the pen stocks. These pipes are seven and a half meters in diameter and could hold an entire truck. The water is pumped through a special aperture into the upper reservoir, an enormous artificial basin that covers more than 300 hectares and has a circumference of nearly seven kilometers. More than 350 football fields could fit into an area this size. The upper reservoir is situated 100 meters above the lower reservoir. Potential water power is accumulated by pumping the water to this height. During the daytime, when electricity demand is higher, the direction is switched and water from the upper reservoir is released back down through the penstocks into the turbines, making them spin. The turbine runners rotate around the same shaft but now in the opposite direction, thus driving the generators in order to produce electricity. The electricity is then transmitted via transformers to the 330 kilovolt electricity transmission grid and from there through distribution networks to factories, offices and homes. Meanwhile, the water that passed through the turbines flows back into the Kaunas Lagoon through the tail race channel. What makes this plant unique is its flexibility and versatility. It can start operating at full capacity within the power grid in less than two minutes. And with a full upper reservoir, it can supply electricity for more than 12 hours. The pump storage plant is most efficient when it operates in pump mode to fill the upper reservoir with water when electricity prices are low, and in turbine mode to supply power to the grid during periods of peak demand when electricity prices are highest. The plant's units ensure fast reserve capacity. Other functions of the plant that are no less important are the leveling out of fluctuations on the power grid, the regulation of voltage and frequency, and the restoration of power supply after system breakdowns. The Kronis Pump Storage Hydroelectric Plant has been successfully serving state and public interests for more than 20 years. Run safely by experienced and qualified specialists, the plant will no doubt continue to be one of the most important links in the Lithuanian energy system for decades to come.